today we are going to Target, if you can see it over there behind me. My kids have been home all week. Mommy needed to escape and I always love to go to Target so I thought we could go there today. Together I have a cup of coffee that I've been drinking and I'm just gonna enjoy an hour by myself before I go back home to all the chaos. So let's go in and go shopping together. Let's first stop at the dollar spot. I saw these little glass jars in a few different colors for $3. These would be perfect for candy or in a bathroom for cotton balls. Then there were these candles. They had lots of different pretty spring prints to pick from and those were $3 each. Again, those would just be nice on a kitchen counter or in a bathroom. This little cute sign, there were actually two of them in there for $5. Just a nice thing to set against a countertop. And I also saw these, I mean, this style of vase has been so popular the past few years. Two of them for $5 I thought was a great find. This one with the flowers and then some just plain gray ones I thought were beautiful. This would be perfect for markers and colored pencils in a desk area or even for utensils. If you are planning to be outside eating a lot this summer, I thought just sticking some plastic forks and spoons in there and napkins would be great. This is advertised as a cheese board. Look at those little speckles, kind of a terrazzo theme. I really liked that, I thought it was beautiful. Let's head over to the art section. This is the first time in two years that my Target's art section has actually been full. I was so excited. That really long one right there would be perfect over a bed. This black and white botanical print was $80 and at the time it was on sale 15% off. So just keep that in mind, sometimes they do have sales on these things. I think art pieces can really make a home beautiful and they are also easy to switch out if you get tired of them year after year. I loved this abstract one with these beautiful spring summery colors and I thought those frames were really good. They're a big size, the color is beautiful and they really help make the picture pop. I love seeing a variety of art pieces, abstract, floral, this street picture, there were some animal prints. I feel like whatever your style, you can find what you're looking for. I will put links to most of the things in this video, whatever I could find in the description below so you can look at them. I loved this gray and white scribble art. I have seen it all over Instagram and YouTube. That was also $80 and it was on sale at the time of this recording. This grassy field picture was adorable, $70 for a set of two. And again, those frames are gorgeous. That's a beautiful color for wood. That black and white abstract one over there, I will also link that below. They had a few animal prints. I thought those were neat. If you like those in your home, they were about $35 for a set of two, which I thought was pretty good. Like a light lighting up in the dark You make it right, I forgot how to act It's so classic Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words It's been a while since I forgot Heading over to the home decor section, and I'll be honest, it was a little unorganized and chaotic right now, but I still managed to find some things. This chair right here is $280. They are starting to take the prices off of some of the price tags, but I did look them up for you. So when you see me flipping them over and there's nothing there, I don't know if they're switching over to a new system or what. These baskets are adorable. They are $30. You could put blankets in there, but what I love them for is putting fake plants in there, like the really big, tall plants. 
they look fabulous in that type of basket. This one was also $30 and some options for this would be a little basket for kids toys if you want some in the living room or if you have a reading chair putting some books in there would be a great idea. These candles were adorable for spring, $10 each. They smelled awesome and I love the spring design on the candle holder itself. And as you can see, there was a sign so some of the things were 15% off right now. They did not have very many Easter things out, but they did have this wicker egg, and this one was $15. And then the one above it with the pretty pastel colors that you can open and put something in, that one was $10. I'll be honest, I have not even shopped for my kids' Easter baskets, and I have four kids, so I should probably do that soon. You know that saying, diamonds are a girl's best friend? I think baskets and trays are a girl's best friend. This little one is $10. A great idea for this is if you have a second story, you could put this on the stairs and throughout the day, put little odds and ends that need to be taken upstairs, dirty rags, kids' toys. That way they're all corralled and nicely tucked away on the stairs and you can just take them up when you need to. This basket would be great for blankets in the living room or extra pillows. It will just create a warm, cozy vibe in any space. This magazine holder is adorable. It is $50. It was really good quality, nice and solid. And the color of that wicker is adorable. I have this geometric folded bowl right there. It is $35 and what I did with it is I actually put a potted plant, a fake one, in there and that way it adds some greenery to it and it acts as a vase. I thought this one was really cute. I think this one was a return so this particular one was cheaper but it was $30 usually. I love this gold collection from Studio McGee. Everything is just adorable. This little container right here is $20. So many things you could put in there and it was heavy, so it was very sturdy and solid. I have been eyeing this for a long time online. It is $20. It was on sale for $17 when I recorded this, but you could use this as a platter for cookies and brownies when you have guests over. This little small planter actually does have a hole in the bottom, which is nice. You could use it for real plants, and that one was $15. I know these two vases right here are a little bit older, but I actually have both of these. They're both $30 and I love both of them. They are on my bookcase. This console table is from Studio McGee. It's $200. I love the rounded corners and the design on the bottom. That would be so beautiful in an entryway. I always have to check out the pillows when I'm here. I saw a few new to me ones. I haven't been in Target in a while, so I was excited to see the ones that they have. I have that floral one on the top right up there. It's sitting in my living room on my big oversized chair. I always gravitate towards the neutral pillows, but sometimes it's fun to switch them up and get a nice pop of color for the changing seasons. Another trick that I like to do is just get pillowcases from Amazon and Etsy and just slip them right over the pillows and then you have a new and expensive pillow. I liked this wreath. It was nice and full, but you could add some faux flowers to it and really make it stand out for springtime. I checked out this little section of the Jungle Low from Opal House. They had these beautiful, deep, dark colors that were just gorgeous and I loved checking out this section. I actually haven't seen this in person before. I really liked those pillows. The dark emerald green was beautiful. I have so many of these pieces, it's just crazy, but I am ready for Target to release some new things soon. 
I really liked this end table right here. That is gorgeous in person. I know it's a little bold with the pattern, but it is really pretty. These lamps are so popular. I have seen them all over the place. The base is a beautiful matte white and they are $60 each. This rug under there was beautiful. I always admire the Studio McGee rugs on the website and it's so nice to see them in person. Usually they don't have large enough ones for my home, but they are just gorgeous in person. This storage ottoman is $100. This would make a really great hamper. If you have to have your hamper out in the open, it would totally disguise the fact that you had dirty clothes in there. Let's head over to the hearth and hand section. This really big board, this would make a good, what are they called, charcuterie? I cannot say it. <laughs> that was $40. I love that thing. This bowl, I have that in my own home on my front entryway table. It is $20. It just makes a great tray for catch-all items. And then they did have a larger size one right on the bottom down there. That would be beautiful on a kitchen island or to put some of your fruits and veggies in. This little woven basket I thought was adorable. This would be great in a bathroom to store all your little odds and ends and it was $10. There are some more wreaths up there that would be really pretty if you just added some baby's breath or some subtle flowers to them. I love a good lantern. This little one was $25 and the bigger one it was $35, but my favorite Amazon flameless candles in there would look gorgeous, especially in the evening for a warm, cozy glow. Here are some of their books down here, and I love using these books for decor pieces because the spine right there is a really pretty neutral color. They had some little games, four in a row. Look how adorable that is. And pickup sticks. I totally remember playing that as a child. So fun. I saw this planner. I almost got it. It was $15. I actually came back and looked at it again, but couldn't make up my mind. But it was just a nice, simple one. And I like that with a planner because if it's too complicated, I get overwhelmed, um, thanks to my type A OCD personality, and I just give up. So I liked that this one was simple, and I thought $15 was a pretty good price for that. I liked this leather little stool. This would be great in a front entryway or by a garage door, but that camel color is just a nice, beautiful color. It will bring warmth to any space. This wall art up here is in a pack of two for $70 and online. I also saw that it came in a gold yellow color as well. This bowl right here was $20. It was very heavy, like concrete heavy. I don't know with the texture of it if it would scratch easily or not because I did see one scratch in there, but it was definitely beautiful if you had it out on display and it was heavy duty for sure.
I love checking out the mugs. This cute one was adorable, $4, but a little afternoon cup of tea or coffee would be adorable in that. And if you had floating shelves in your kitchen, having that out on display would be gorgeous. This wooden bowl was $25. That would be a great popcorn bowl or fruit bowl on your counter. Having your fruit in a nice wooden bowl is always a great idea. I came across these canisters. This bigger one is $7. The price is so small on there. And then the smaller one next to it was $5. These would be adorable on a kitchen counter if you just needed to put something small in there. They would be great in a bathroom or even a pantry if you wanted to make your pantry look really pretty. I have seen this tray before and I always come back to it. It's $35, but that would be so beautiful on a kitchen counter just to display like a candle and some flowers in there. This glass measuring cup was adorable for $10. It was pretty thin, so I feel like it could break easily. I usually use Pyrex ones, but if you had floating shelves, that would be cute just to have out on display. These black measuring cups are $9. I actually have these in my own home. I love them. They're so easy to use and easy to clean and they're nice and sturdy. This tray up here with the beautiful handle is $17, and I was surprised when I brought it down that it had compartments. So again, if you have a picnic outside, it would be nice to put some picnic things in there, or of course, a bathroom. It was in the bathroom section, so having that on your counter would be beautiful as well. I found a few little plants, $5 for this little one next to a kitchen sink or on a windowsill would be gorgeous. I liked this with the little handles on it. I didn't see a price on it right here, but I loved the darker color of it and the little handles on it. Over here, this is in the foodware. These were like more plasticky, but I liked that they had a variety like this marble. If you have kids and you wanna have a birthday cake on there or something, that's a great option. I always love checking out the utensil holders and the Crocs. And of course they haven't had anything new in a while right here. So we'll just skip past that really quickly, but I'm hoping they come out with some new things soon. It would be great to see something new there. Cutting boards are a favorite of mine. I love using these for decor pieces. I think I actually use them for more decor than actually using them, but I liked this little one. The wood, the variation was really pretty. This smaller one was 20. It was on sale on mine when I saw it for 10. So be sure to check that out. All right, so we are over by the clothes, like kind of in the middle of them. And I found a ton of fake plants and flowers over here I wanted to show you. A lot of these smaller ones are gonna be $10 and I will link quite a few of them in the description below. I love the wood base on that one and then the two-tone base on these was really pretty as well but just a nice little pop of flowers or greenery for springtime is great. Put these in a bathroom, by a kitchen sink, on a bedroom nightstand is always nice. And look at these. I mean, this is just so nice to have out for a few months. I'm sure you'll get tired of it after that, but then you can stash it away and get it back out the following year. 
I just thought these colors were so pretty and they were pretty lifelike, I would say. Coming over here, I saw these more muted tones. If you don't like the bright, vibrant spring colors, these ones would be pretty for spring as well. They had these rust color ones, and then next to it, they had like a purple, very pretty dusty color, and they were actually hard. I wanted to feel what they felt like, but those are just a cute little decor piece. I saw some of these candles here. The little ones are $5. This one right here smelled amazing. So if you can find it, definitely check that one out. The bigger one like that is $10. So we have just a few more flowers to look at and then I am going to say goodbye for today. And I can't wait to go shopping with you and give you home decor tips very soon. I will be back in just a few days and I hope you have a wonderful day today.